So if the Quran is the ultimate and the final source from God, it must answer every problem. It has to be. And Alhamdulillah, Quran and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu is the best example. لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْفَةٌ حَسَنًا The best example and for you, O humanity, you will find indeed in the stature of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu in the stature, in his personality, the best example to follow for the whole of the world. So everyone in the West, they are following Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, either by knowing, knowingly or unknowingly. You see, that is what Ulama Iqbal said, that Prophet his majesty is so sublime that the Western civilization, they are following him either subconsciously or consciously, but they are following every good morality, sobrieties and pieties you see is basically the extraction of the biography of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Unfortunately, we don't know. That is why this uh, George Bernard Shaw in 1850s, the Royal Albert Hall, he said it, the religion which is going to conquer England, nay Europe within 100 years is Islam. The reason is because they see the foresight. They have, they have, they were foresighted people. They were not like you know these biased wasps, white Anglo-Saxon Protestants. Capitalism. What are the benefits? The thing which is compatible with Islam is that in capitalistic society, you have a freedom of free market. You can make your own businesses. Terminologies you will find many of them. Like for example, entrepreneurs, you can start ups, like you, when you want to start a business, you are an entrepreneur. And the one who is running in the business as the manager, he's intrapreneur. So these terminology you will see in advanced microanalysis of businesses, ethics. We have no exception for that. These terminologies does not affect anyone unless, uh, unless the principle uh, is right. Islamic system is very clear. You should have a free market, but all the things what you do in business must be following the parameters of Islam. Who laid the parameters? Four guided caliphates. At the time of Umar radiallahu anhu, he was passing by somewhere and there was a guy, he opened his shop for, for some, you know, stalls, koisks, we call them stalls. And he came to him and said, that, that, did you read the principles of Islam in business? The guy said, no. He said, close your shop and go and read it. Because in the Quran, Allah says that many of you people will come and say that riba is like a business. Huh? Interest is like a business. Or rather, you can say another way either. Sorry, you can say other way that, you know, without interest, we cannot have a business. You know, you find these people goldsmiths most of them when they do business you ask them they say no actually basically this is this is the type this is a system there's no other way yes we know there's no other way because you're following the western democratic capitalism that is why you don't know and you are right because prophet ﷺ says the time will come to you that you will not be able to escape from riba if you want to escape the smoke will come and catch you he says, all these four people are equally penalized on the day of judgment. The one who sees the riba, the one who writes the riba, the one who takes the riba and the one who gives, indulges. All these four, the, the person who writes, the person who sees, the person who gives and the person who takes, all are equal on the day of judgment on the dock for the trial to be penalized as the interest so think about it people say oh we don't take directly but you are looking at it you're looking that your system is supporting that so you're equal so prophet said the time will come to you that you will not escape and we are living exactly today in that era how hard you try you're unable to escape yourself somehow by the hook or by the crook you have to take riba and Beautifully, they change the names. This is this, this is that, this is this, this is that. Umar ibn al-Khattab, one of the Sahaba, they asked, 
Riba, he said, Umar ibn, Umar ibn al-Khattab r.a. He said that Riba is not allowed, not permissible, and Riba is not permissible. If I'm not, if I'm not wrong, he's, he used this word. You can check this. Then one of the, of course, uh, disciples of Prophet ﷺ at his time, he asked Umar ibn al-Khattab that, what do you mean by uh, Riba with the longer uh, vowel sound? He said, Riba is the fear that comes in your heart that this could be a riba. Can you imagine? So if you have a slight doubt that this transaction, maybe it has some kind of riba, it's not allowed. According to Fatwa Faruqi, Umar ibn al-Khattab and Prophet says that follow my four guided caliphates, they are like stars. They are stars to you. You have to follow them. The time will come to you, follow them. So whatever they say, they could not speak from, from their own desires. They must be from the extraction of analogical induction and deduction of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. There's no other way. They can never do ishtihad by their own. Their ishtihad are so pure. I'm talking about four guided caliphates that it must be coming from Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So free market system, you have it in capitalism. All the things which goes parallelly in Islam is okay. But where the problem comes? This problem comes when you have interest in everywhere. Interest is the biggest problem which is making you go into famine. According to the hadith of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Imamin qawmin yazharu fihim ar-riba. Any nation who makes it straight craft on the grounds of usury in trust. Illa ukhizu bisanati. The nation will go into hunger and strife. Vama min qawmin yazharu fihim ar-risha. And the nation. Whosoever, any nation who takes or makes his uh, state crafting structure on the grounds of bribery, despotism, cronyism, nepotism, that nation will become a timid, terrified and petrified. This is the hadith of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him.